Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Simply Living Saves. Today we'll be doing savings challenges um, that are allocated to my long-term sinking funds and our savings goals. So to get things started, we'll go ahead and count the prop money and we should have 945. One, two, three. 945. And I do allocate a lot of our money um, to the savings challenges. I just find it a little bit more fun than just stuffing the envelope with the funds. It's money that we would have to be saving anyway to pay for some of our annual bills, such as um, like our auto insurance and home insurance and property taxes and things like that. And then also we have some saving goals that um, we need to make. So to get started, we're going to start with Saveopoly, and I have allocated um, $50 for this. So it looks like I'm just going to roll one dice, I think, for this one. And we'll use this little dice for our game piece here. So, one. So it says save $2. So here's two. Go ahead and roll again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, the extra chance is roll the dice, move your character again. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This one says um, overpay a bill by 10% which I'm not really for sure what that means. Um, if anybody else plays this game, I did get this one from Ted and Bear Printables on Etsy. I'm not really for sure what that means. So it says 10%. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put $10 in because I, I really don't know what they're wanting on that one. Um, if I'm supposed to take 10% of an actual bill, but we'll just do $10. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it says save, save 28. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. 30. And I think I will go ahead and roll one more time. I do want to mark off the ones that I did already land on. That one, uh, landed on that one, this one, and then this one. So let's roll again. One, and that one says save 30. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there since I did kind of go over a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a train, change those in and grab a 50. So we'll be stuffing 50, 55. 65, 67, 69, 70. So we did go over just a little bit, um, but I think we'll be okay here. If I have to, I just won't stuff one of my other challenges that I planned on. So, and save Opoly to start. Put that in there. Okay. Mark this off too that we did that one. Okay, the next challenge I am gonna put some away on here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just I did allocate 40, but since we did go over, I'm only gonna do 20 on this one. So it looks like each um, little honeycomb section is $10, and at the end of it, we will be saving um, $1,000. 
And I do have this one allocated um, to help me fund my auto insurance. And that Saveopoly was for um, my emergency fund. So I'll put 20 in there. Uh, the next game is Save 21. Um, this one is, this one actually was a freebie from Two Sister Bees. Um, and this one um, is also from Two Sister Bees. And I actually um, purchased this one off of their Etsy shop. They have a lot of cute, um, cute ones. So, looks like we'll be playing with the deck cards here. And the objective is to get close to 21 without... Um, busting kings and queens are 10 so five seven so that's 12 and i did bust so it looks like we owe 22 dollars 22 and then um, we are to write in the amount on the card. So 22. And I think I'm going to go ahead and play this one again. So we have 9, 18. Um, the rules are summary blackout that you are saving. Um, so I think I would just stay here. Um, and so that would be 18. So I'll be saving 18, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'll go ahead and write 18 there. I have a jack. So 17, which I think I will just stay. So we'll save another $17. 10, 15, 16, 17. King. Okay, we don't play with jokers. Five. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit. Okay, so we went over. So that's 24, $24, we'll save 24. And I think I'm going to go ahead and organize this money and kind of condense it here. So I have um, money for my other savings challenges, just in case I need smaller denominations here. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 81. So let's get 81. 50, 60, 70, 81. save up for any home repairs we may have or any maintenance and I do have each icon saving uh, $25 so I will go ahead and I think I'm gonna save $25 so we'll just do one icon here and we'll put $25 Challenge is one of mine. You can find it on my Etsy shop at Simply Living Saves. All right, let's do a scratch off. Uh, these are from Star Budgets. Purchase this off her Etsy shop, and she does have a YouTube channel too. So we will go ahead. I did allocate $100 for this. Um, 
But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just scratch off a couple and then I'm going to roll the dice and multiply that amount by what I roll. Um, I'll just roll one dice. So let's go ahead and start up here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to roll one dice and whatever I get, I'm going to have to multiply it by um, 15, multiply 15 by the number I roll here. So five. So if we take 15 times five, we have $75. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5 for our scratch offs. Okay, so our next one is medical. And the savings challenge is allocated to, we do have an HSA account, which is a health savings account um, that we contribute money to to help pay for um, like our deductible, any medicines we have, any co-pays we may have. And I have each icon being $50, so we are just going to do one icon. I'll put $50 in medical. One is the high rollers game and this I got from Coco Chic Living on her Etsy shop. Um, I do roll two dice and then um, I go to where it lines up and that's how much I save. Um, I did go ahead and allocate 250 just because that is the highest amount on here and that's just kind of how I plan my savings challenges. So five and five. So we have five and five, which is only 50. So I'll pull a 50 and I'm actually gonna do this um, probably one more time here. Um, and if I go over it, that's okay. So I wanna mark that and I'll color it in at the end. Six and two. Um, so six and two is 175. So 100. 50, 60, 75, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put these back and grab a hundred. So we saved one, two, 220, 225. And then here is a challenge that I made also. It's on my Etsy shop. That's kind of like a little board game. Um, this is for my pets. Um, they're a little older. I have a 13 year old and a 15 year old Shih Tzu. And I just want to save up just in case um, we have some unexpected um, vet bills. So I have a paws are five, the houses are 10, large icon, which are these are um, 20 and the smaller ones are 15. So I'll go ahead and just roll one dice here. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is $5 and I allocated 25. So mark this off and I'll color them in later. Three. One, two, three. So another five dollars. And let's go again. One. So that's 20. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to trade these in, two fives in for that. So we're Saved a total of $30, and I'll go ahead and um, color these two icons in. All my savings challenges do come with like a little dashboard that you can put in your A6 um, binder. Just kind of a little uh, dashboard to sit in there. The next one is Christmas. 
And it's just another coloring one. And I have this one listed on my Etsy shop. And I am allocating um, $50 for this. So I'm actually going to just color in one icon here. I'll get the $50, set that in here. Okay, the next one is the sloth one. And this is was a freebie from uh, Lisa Grateful Me. That's her YouTube shop, or her YouTube channel. And she does have an Etsy shop called the Happy Mailbox Co. But when she hit 4,000 subscribers, um, she gave this challenge away. And I'm going to be allocating this one to our 529 College Fund. Um, and I have where I'm going to be stuffing 105 on this one. So let's see here. I think I can do like a 15 through 20 and then that equals 105. So we will do 15. Let's let's double check that. I'm pretty sure it's 15 through 20 equals 105. in here and I do have this hunter or this five thousand dollar challenge um, which is in my Etsy shop and I allocated 150 to that um, this is going to help fund our property tax um, envelope and let's see here 50 60 70 80 90 110, 130, 140, 60, 81, 150. And I do, I might as well just do, I do have 151 in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just, um, when I have the money, go ahead and knock those out. dollars in here and then I am gonna see how much I have left here I have 364 so I do have this one here and I do kind of use it. I'd like to, you can either use this as you could roll a dice or, um, you know, you can buy these polyhedral dice that have like 20 sides and whatever you roll, that's what you're going to save. Otherwise I do like to have it just one, if I have like an odd amount left over, I can just put that amount in here and then that's what we're going to save. Um, but I think I'm actually going to go and put yeah, why don't we just put the rest of it in here? So let me count that again. 10. So why don't we go ahead and just put $64. In this challenge, I'm just going to have it allocated to just whatever fund I feel like um, is maybe falling behind or maybe the payment's coming up soon. And... Um, so when that's done, I'll just kind of, you know, maybe I'll even split it up and divide it into more than one envelope. So that's a good start to the little piggy savings challenge. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you for um, sticking with me. And if you enjoyed, enjoyed my video, please um, like and give me a little comment. And if you made it to the end of the video, give me a little piggy emoji. I hope you guys all have a good rest of the week. Bye.